Hey everyone, it's Avi Khan here from Echo Fall Studios. Uh, today, I am going to be doing a tutorial on the mirror trick that some of you guys might have been seeing. Uh, here's what we're going to be creating. So as you can see, uh, he's washing his hands, Jonah here's washing his hands, and his reflection in the mirror starts flexing and he's still washing his hands. So that's a cool trick. Um, so you're going to start by getting your footage on, you need to get it on a tripod. And the reason for that is because if it even moves a fraction of an inch, the entire effect is thrown off because we're going to be uh, doing masking and all this other fancy stuff. And so... Um, Let's see, your footage is right here, and you're going to want to record, and I apologize for my After Effects, my computer's really slow, so it might freeze up every once in a while. Um, so, you have your footage right here, you want to film your actor walking into the frame, and this is all in one shot, steady movement, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, no movement on the tripod. Um, so he's going to be going in, he's uh, going to start out, you can do either flexing first, or whatever you're doing in the mirror. I'm going to call, I'm going to say flexing for the sake of the tutorial, uh, or washing his hands, and so uh, I have him flexing first, and he's going to flex, and come back and start again, and he's just going to sit there and wash his hands, and we tried to time this up, um, I had Jonah count to 10 in his head each time just to make the timing easier for me, uh, you don't have to do that, it'll just make post a little bit harder, but that, that's what I did, and there is still going to be some timing issues, but you know. So, so that's what we have. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is duplicate your footage. So you're going to want to highlight your footage and uh, click Command-D for a Mac or Control-D for a PC. So that's right there. Uh, the top one, let's name Muscle. And the bottom one, just hit Enter to rename it. Uh, you want to name that, let's say, Washing. Okay, so the next step is to go through and find where, let's say, so the top one is muscle, let's find where the muscle is. So that's going to be right there, he's flexing, and right, let's see, there he looks at himself. So we're going to cut that down, to around right there, and then we're going to hit the eye to turn that off so we can see the bottom layer. And the bottom layer is still the same thing, so we want to cut that down to here. Pull that back because the second part of the video is him actually just washing. Okay, so we have him going up. Let's see, and it ends with him looking. Alright, now what we're going to try and do... Now first, before we can time up... Um, time up both of the clips so they look at each other at the same time. That's actually, believe it or not, the hardest part of this uh, effect, I think. But So what we're going to do is go back and we're going to use the masking tool, which is up here, the pen tool. You just hit G, or you can just click on that. And you're going to scroll through your footage to around, let's say, where he's flexing or doing whatever action you have in your video. So, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to turn the eye back on. So he's right there. He's flexing right there. So now, basically, what the masking tool does, it's going to basically cut a hole in one of the uh, in one of the layers, so we can see the other one through it. And we're going to touch it up and make it look really nice. So you want to highlight the muscle layer, and you have your pen tool selected. And basically, you're just you're just going to trace around your actor where you want to see him flex. So make sure you don't get any of um, of the of the of the not reflection of the actual actor in your in your mask. Make sure you just get the the reflection of the actor. So I'm going to go around like this, and we will need to because of the um, the way he flexed and the way how the, his reflection was really close to his actual body. We're going to need to mess around with the mask path and shape a, a little bit, but that'll come later. So let's come down here. Alright, so now we have this little thing, as you can see, we have over here, we have the actor, that's the bottom layer, washing showing through, and then our little hole that we cut, that's the muscle layer, that's all we're showing. So, 
Let's see, so let's time this up. And I know the lighting looks weird. That's going to be the last thing we do. We'll adjust the lighting and color correction. Don't worry. Maybe uh, maybe that was just for me. Usually it's going to be lighter, so you're going to have to adjust it depending on the, on the lighting in the area that you filmed or what camera you have. You know, it's going to depend on how much color correction you have to do, but we'll fix that up later. So we want to time that up so they look at each other at the same time, right? So let's see. My computer's really slow. So right there, we have the top layer kind of goes a little early so we want to move we want to take this washing layer and move it back just a little bit so let's see what we got we have he's going oh, he's a little early so now we need to kind of adjust that so how about right there that's perfect okay so that's good all right now let's fix that mask up a little bit especially at the beginning uh, so we have the footage timed up let's and we'll mess with the opacity before that don't worry so now if you see you can see um, his hand down there kinda cuts in so you're gonna have to adjust that ma the mask over there and also, so we're on right here. We're going to go to muscle, which is where our mask layer is. We're going to open that up, click that right there, and open masks. And let's see, we have all these options for the masks. And you see the mask path and shape. So, excuse me, you want to have the mask path, you want to keyframe this, or you're going to hit the stopwatch right there. And that puts a quick keyframe right there, and just drag this out. There we go. Alright, so you have that right there. So now let's see what we got. Ooh, here's another problem. You can see his elbow come up right there. Right over here. So we're going to set that keyframe at that exact moment. Let's do that. Now this might get a little confusing with the different, with all the mask movement, but... Alright. So basically what the keyframing the mask shape does is wherever you set the keyframe, that's where the mask is going to be. So you can see it moving to adjust wherever we have our little... Um, wherever we have the actual actor kind of poke into our mask on the second layer. So you want to scroll through your footage and wherever you see a little uh, a little error and your actor kind of poke through the mask, maybe there's just the weird way I filmed it and that's why I'm getting all these, but you want to adjust that like that. So I'm just going to scroll through a little bit more and find all that. Good. Alright, let's see what we got. So he comes up. We'll, we'll adjust that opacity. I know it looks like there are two Jonas. So he goes. He starts washing. And then they go like that. Okay, I think that looks good. So here you want to make sure the mask doesn't start until you actually need it to. So maybe around right there. I'm sorry, right. Sorry about this, guys. There we go. All right. Just to be safe. Okay, so he walks up, that shrinks, good.
All right, now you see we have a weird kind of outline there. So let's go to uh, let's go to the muscle layer, and you're going to want to hit uh, effect color correction. Let's go levels. Let's adjust the levels a little bit. So you have this little effect pop up in the effect uh, menu. That's levels. And let's see. So that's what you're looking at. That needs to be fixed a lot. Let's turn the mask off right here so we can see. Um, output black. No way too black. Way too light. Basically for people who don't know what they're doing, uh, you just gotta have play with the balances and the inputs a little bit until you can match up your color. That's a little bit too... And you know, if that doesn't work, you probably, and you definitely should actually, go to go down here to the mask feather, feather that up a lot. See how that disappeared? That did the trick. Right there. And you get rid of those edges. And then you have to play with the level, uh, levels a little bit. So right here, you have him walk up. Ooh, and look at that. See how there's a little spotlight on him? So that's probably just because of me, because uh, because of the light I was filming, and it might happen to you. If that does, you probably just have to keyframe the levels. Okay, that's looking good. And so obviously you'll cut this part out at the beginning. But All right. I think that does it. Then you have, and that mask you'll adjust also, right there. Walks up, he's flexing, looking at his muscles. <laughs> and again, I apologize for my After Effects running so slow. Go ahead. He goes. And obviously, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to adjust it perfectly. You know, obviously, if you scroll through it, you're probably going to find some, like a, like a finger poke through or some masking problems. But for, and for your effect, you definitely want to take more time on it and make it perfect and really adjust everything in that mask shape. Like, I just saw a little error right there. But that's the gist of it. And if you go over with the masking and the feathering and play with the levels, and definitely with the mask path and shape, you definitely have to be careful with that to get the, uh, to cut out all the errors that you see poking through the mask, but otherwise that's that's basically the effect. Okay, I am this is Avi Khan from Echo Falls Studios and see you guys next time.